Arrow Video brings to Blu-ray 1971's Murphy's War, directed by Peter Gates. This is a World War II era drama thriller action sort of movie starring Peter O'Toole, Sean Phillips, who I recognize as the old lady from Dune, the original 80s Dune, uh, Philippe Noé, who was the, to me, old man in Cinema Paradiso, and Horst Jansen, who I immediately said, that guy looks familiar. Wait a minute, could it be? Yes, it's Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter, which he did for Hammer Films, not too far on either side of this uh, this film. So uh, this is a film I remember seeing on TV years ago. I don't I think I probably saw it in like an AMC or TCM or something like that. So I had a vague memory of the movie, but the memory was pretty inaccurate for the most part on this film. So it was really a fresh view for me. This film is really good. Nobody talks about this. Uh, so Peter O'Toole, the film opens with this just like massacre of British soldiers off the coast of Venezuela by a German U-boat. The, obviously, the, the British ship has been sunk. They're in the water. There's debris. There's, there's life preservers. There, there's, there's guys who are alive. There's guys who are dead. The, the surface of the water is oily and on fire, and the German soldiers are just machine gunning everybody. It's really brutal and really intense at the beginning of the film. Um, Peter O'Toole, I'm not going to tell you the whole story. Peter O'Toole survives this, is taken in by Sean Phillips, who was his actual wife at the time, into this um, mission that's just off the river. It's mostly native inhabitants, and she is seemingly the only person who lives and works there, and she's a doctor, and she's treats to his wounds. Uh, Noiré is this French, uh, I don't know if he's like the mechanic or the handyman or whatever, but he's he's got a tugboat, he's got a boat there, and he helps, and he's a super nice, likable guy. And O'Toole is just salty. He wants revenge on those Germans, and he's sure that they are driving that, or he's telling people that they are driving the U-boat up the river nearby, and nobody believes him. There's, there can't be a reason. That's There's no way they can be doing that. And O'Toole sets about getting better to the best he, of the to the best degree he can, getting well enough to somehow get revenge on that U-boat. So it is one man who's not doing great. He's pretty banged up versus a German U-boat. And how does he do that? And does he do that? And it is so good. It is so much fun. O'Toole is really funny in it. He's very acerbic, but he's sassy and self-deprecating throughout. Um, it's a very small cast. It's really just the people I told you about in this film. Uh, at the, up, the stars I mentioned up at the top. Everybody's great. Really nicely shot. It's a good, like, this to me is the kind of movie I would have watched on a Sunday afternoon when I was a kid on TV. It's just like a nice grown-up action movie. Not wall-to-wall -wall action, but there's enough. It's brutal at times. Uh, the Germans do some really nasty things, and it is just, it's really well made. It was, um, it was, in, in the the transfer on this is great, too. As, as I like to say, you know, it's, it's Arrow, so it's 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 going to look great. It's going to be the definitive release up to this point, and uh, they don't disappoint in the, in the image quality. So um, it is uh, in English. It's an English language film. It's got English SDH subtitles. Uh, music by John Barry and Ken Thorne, who did a lot. John Barry is John Barry did amazing stuff. I mean, he's mostly known for Bond soundtracks. Knee jerk is that he does Bond soundtracks, but he did a lot more than that. And Ken Thorne worked on all kinds of things, uh, including some Beatle related stuff. So that's an interest to me. Screenplay by Sterling Silphant, based on a book. And uh, 106 Minutes, originally a Paramount release. For some reason, I'm so used to Arrow putting out a lot of Euro stuff and obscure stuff and cult movies and indie movies that it's always a bit of a surprise or a kick to see a major studio logo at the beginning. Also, when Arrow does it, unlike the major studios, they don't replace the opening logo for the studio with whatever the current one is or a newer one. So it's the Paramount logo from 1971, which is really cool. Um, special features on this. We have Running Out of War, an appreciation of the film by critic David Cairns. That's 20 minutes. You get A Great Adventure. It's an archival interview with co-editor and second unit director John Glenn, who I knew from directing a lot of the, working on the Bond films and becoming the director of several of the Bond films in the 1980s. That's 31 minutes. That's really interesting. Uh, Doggy, Chick, and Me. It's an archival interview with the focus puller, Robin Vigen, and that's very interesting. Sometimes you're like, focus puller? But yeah, it's interesting. He was there. Uh, that's 16 minutes one man army archival interview with film critic sheldon hall that's 17 minutes you get a three minute trailer and a 17 image image gallery really good release i can't say a lot more about this i don't want to say too much about the story it's just this story of this one determined man macgyvering the resources he can to take out a german submarine just getting your head around that is amazing and uh, I, I highly recommended from 1971 murphy's war